For this lab, we are asked to build a NAND gate and we're asked to build a NOR gate. And we're gonna do this by inverting inputs to our OR gate. So when we look at this first one, we're going to be looking at the NAND gate. Well, if we look at the circuitry here, we can see that our input switch is just going, um, the first switch is going down here into the first LED bar, second switch is going to the second LED bar. Now the next thing that we're going to look at is the actual NAND gate itself. This right here is our NAND gate. So we're taking input from one to two and it's going into the second to the last LED bar. That is a NAND gate. Now on top of this, we have the equivalent to a NAND gate. So we have these two triangles, which are NOT gates. So we have two NOT gates hooked up to an OR gate. And if you look closely, each of these actually has different kind of symbols associated with them. They also have different numbers. You don't really want to pay attention to the top number up here. You more so want to pay attention to the bottom number. That tells you what type of gate it is. So if we look at the top, we have some current going from our switch one. It's going into the first NOT gate. And then if we look at the second NOT gate, we have some current flowing from switch two into the second NOT gate. Now, both of these are going to output to the inputs of this. This is an OR gate. So we have two NOTs to an OR. And if we have that, it's gonna to go to the last LED in our LED bar. And that's gonna be the equivalent to our NAND gate. So if I run this, we can see that both of them off is going to be on right here. So we have zero, zero for our switches and our output is one, one. That's how NAND gates work. You can see that in a truth table for them. The important thing is that when we flip these switches, it should be the same output for each of these. So if I do one zero, we can see that the first switch turns on. These two both stay lit. I'm gonna turn this off and we're gonna do zero one. Both stay lit, second switch is active. But if I do both switches, the two turn off and the first two are active. So that's how you would set up and test the NAND gate. Now I'm gonna turn these off, pause this, and we're gonna to go to the NOR gate. So this is what the NOR gate looks like. We don't actually have a NOR gate here. So what we're doing with this is we have an OR gate with a NOT gate. These hooked up is the equivalent to a NOR gate. So we have OR and NOT, NOR. It kind of makes sense like this. So that's going to be connected to this LED. And then of course we have the A and B just terminating in here like this and then, or the one and two switches. And then we have the kind of the same thing up top here. We have two NOT gates, both connected to different switches, and they are terminating into this gate. However, this is not a, I think we used an OR gate last time. Yep, we used an OR gate last time. This is not an OR gate. As you can see, it's different. It's actually an AND gate. So we have two NOTs to an AND gate, and that will give us a NOR gate. That makes sense. We have two knots, one and, so that is the NOR. And that is how we would set this up. If we run it, we can test it. Um, we can see that both switches are zero and the output for both of them is one. Now, if we flip the first switch, we can see that it turns off and that is what a NOR gate will do, not OR. So if we flip this back off, and then flip the second one on, we can see that they get the same result. And then if we flip both of them on, nothing comes on. So that is how you would set up the NOR gate. And we previously set up the NAND gate as well. We got slightly different results for both of them. And that is to be expected given that they are different gates and they're also different gate combinations.